Instead of making the ship faster, how about installing some seat belts? Seat belts are dead weight. I feel the need for speed. Yes, but I feel the nafty for safety. Oh, fuff. Well, we made it to the trailhead. Penny's unloaded, our friends are here. We're ready to go check out the new upgrades. This is gonna be fun. Penrose Commons is this is actually home of the Independence Trail System. I don't know that any of the rigs we have today are going to want to do that. That is a goal trail for Penny and it's a goal trail for a couple of the other people but not with the rigs that they brought today. We may walk it which should be really cool but I'm certainly not going to try it on my own. You know it'll be fun to just get to lay some eyes on it before we actually try it for real when all the rigs are built. So here's another new thing that I have never ever been able to do before. I am going doorless. Uh, right hand turn, we get around it. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Parked right here. If you want to pull in and park around me, next to me, that'd be the best spot to do. Alright. 
your rear tire is going down the same spot, so you're going to be good here. You're going to have two drops, rear and front, at the same time. There you go. Now, rear tires are up and down. So, once you get down, two right. There you go. Nicely done, April. I want your driver front on this rock. Yeah. Front locker, front locker. said yes. That looks like a lot. That was the easy part. That's the easy part. That was easy. Yeah, that's <laughs> that easy. was fun. driver right here. Yeah. And, but it's, this is the drop off that everyone says that you have to be in gear, first gear. And you get down. <clears throat> you have to let it roll. Well, you're going to, you're going to kick the back end up. Yes. And you got to throttle through. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where this was built up in concrete and yeah. I think that's just how it is. Well, that's honestly, that's why we're over here looking at this because we've never seen it. And so we don't know what it would yeah. be to be prepared. Exactly, yeah.
Yeah, I mean, that's your height plus, so. you know, another three feet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, on, this is, it's there, you gotta turn towards you a little bit. Yeah. And then once it goes up there, you gotta go this way a little bit. It's a pretty, pretty gnarly climb. Yeah, for, I mean, I can see, as you say, I can see the line, but... I don't want to drive it. It looks slippery as hell, too. Oh, it is. It over. Yep, look at that. When people ask why CarPlay in a trail rig, things like this ability to have Cotrex and Onyx side by side and not have multiple devices, really handy. So, I wanted to show you a little bit as we are going down the trail, what the wolf box has done for me. So as you can see, I can't see anything behind me because of the spare tire. Love the spare tire. I'm the only one that run 40s, so I am keeping the spare tire. But it means I couldn't see anything out of the rear view mirror. Now with the wolf box, I can see the rig behind me very clearly. sure that my tank is filled um, before I get to air up, which is really nice. All right, tank's filled up. I'm all ready for air up, so I'm gonna switch. that rock right there that you're right standing on. Yeah, that's what I used. Yeah, we try that. This is all soft and dirt. It's, just, it's not, it's almost there. No bumper damage. Awesome. So your rock is either here or further that way.
Bronc rail this side. No. Bronc rail passenger. Your backup passenger. Stop. Now hard driver. Four to three. More hard. Let's see if you can grip the rock and pull up us. You are. There you go. So there it is. We're all loaded. We're back up on the trailer. And I hope you got to see what I was looking for out of phase four. Um, the seats are amazing, especially being heated. I don't think I'm regretting not getting uh, the lumbar support. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm, I'm glad I, that that's not a regret of mine. Uh, the roll cage, I haven't had to test it yet, but boy, it sure come in handy in a whole bunch of other ways. Um, like you may have seen in another video or video coming up, there is kind of a negative to it. Um, I'm referring to the bar across the top of the dash. It will uh, show itself then. But then um, the lights, I used the lights today. I really did. And that was really cool. We used them to load. I used my dust lights today. I used a compressor. I used both locker switches. I actually used just the front locker. Um, and it's true what, what they're saying about just the front locker because the rear locker is not on, it's not pushing the rear end around in various ways. You can have a little bit more finesse. I thought that was pretty cool too. Phase four is a wrap. Hope you enjoyed all these videos. Hope uh, something proves useful in them. And it's time to move on to the next build. We'll see what that is soon.